ever wondered why some parents just give their children instruction and they just comply like this and you're wondering hmm I wish I could be like that hi welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Asma Ahmed I'm a special needs family coach today I'm going to share with you seven tips that would actually get your children to comply and the first one is don't lose focus of your message when you give your child a message make sure it's clear it's concise don't give a message that looks a bit muffled for example if I say get my bag on the floor and put it on the table and he's thinking huh get my bag on the floor and put it on the table be clear do you actually want him to get your bag and actually put it on the table or you just want him to get the bag so keep it short and concise and also this depends on the language level of your child so check the language level of your child don't ignore context when your child is sleeping it's not a good when your child is just about to sleep for example it's not the good time to say okay wake up stand up and make your bed when your child is eating it's not the good time for you to say okay come to the kitchen and wash the dishes then you go back and eat when your child is playing outside it's not the time to say you didn't mop your room come back and mop your room you're already setting yourself up for failure so let's check context don't let him off the hook when you give instruction to your child make sure he follows through now this is so very important um, the what you do after you give an instruction is very important for example if your child is trying to escape or he's trying to move away from an instruction make sure he follows through but the tip here is that he may not have to follow through 100% the idea is for you to still be in control so if you wanted him to make his bed change the bed sheet put the duvet change the pillowcases just ask him make your bed if you if you actually notice that he's trying to escape just establish the fact that you're in authority I ask you to make the bed I'll fade the prompt make it I'll fade the demand make it less demanding so that whatever it is you would have made your bed anyway so that next time that uh, evidence is there in his mind that well mama me asked me to make my bed and I made it I did not escape the fourth one is do not promise before the action is done so don't promise and say if you make your bed or if you close the door nicely I'm going to give you sweet no don't do that that's a no no give him the sweet only after the action is done but make sure you give him the sweet if it's something you actually want to give him so that you can be able to increase the level of the behavior the next time don't speak to the walls and this is quite common with parents of children especially parents of children with special needs that have an overload you may be speaking to your child and he's not sitting he's not right in front of you or he may not even be within view and you're actually expecting that he's actually going to turn up and do what you've asked him to do no why not make sure he's within your view so don't speak to the wall speak to your child don't use a commanding voice a commanding voice is something like sit down I've asked you to sit down oh my god I can tell you that that has never worked with my child um, now it's growing older he actually comes to me and actually looks at me in the eyes like oh okay well I'm not going to do that and I've noticed that I've, I've just set myself up for failure because he's shown me many times that talk to me nicely and I'll comply the seventh one is do not lose your cool our kids have different ways of making us lose our cool whether it's deliberate or not deliberate it's just their way of doing things so many times when we ask them to do something and they don't do it we start to become angry and they pick it up because they are very very sensitive to our cues so when we speak to them and we see that they are, we are actually losing our cool because they are not complying calm down do some deep breathing work on yourself and say to yourself well it's not the end of the world what is actually going to happen if he doesn't do it at worst leave the space and then come back when you're in the more resourceful state so these are my seven tips so the first one is do not lose focus of your message don't ignore context don't let him off the hook do not promise before the action do not speak 
to the walls. This is quite common. Don't use a commanding voice and do not lose your cool. Thank you for watching and goodbye. See you next time.